why we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only $1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence. But to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at MadeIn1776.com. Molon Labe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. I can, like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today and get your free wire stand with the purchase of a ProPure big water filtration system. Or call 1-888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season when love runs high in this time. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today, and I'm going to be joined in the next segment by Dr. Jerome Corsi, who writes for WND. Uh, before I go to him, I want to tell you that we now have a special up. On the InfoWarsStore.com, ProPure water filtration, of course, we have a promo code to save 10% off your regular ProPure purchase and use the code WATER, W-A-T-E-R, to save 10%. But also, for a limited time only, we have a free wire stand with the purchase of a ProPure G2.0 big system. And we team up with ProPure to provide you with a new gold standard of water filtration systems. It takes the traditional gravity filtration systems and updates it for the 21st century. This is the way that you can protect your family as well as yourself. And this is something that protects you whether you're on a well system or whether you're on a municipal system. Of course, the municipal system, they're going to be putting fluoride, chlorine, a lot of different things into the water. In your own system, you may find in your groundwater, if you have a well, you may find that you've got glyphosate in it. Well, this will filter both of those out. So that's, again, a limited time offer of a free wire stand with a purchase of a 2.0 big system as well as 10% off of the uh, filter itself with the code word water. That's at InfoWarsStore.com. Now, we've been talking this whole program about the collapse of the border because the collapse of the border is not simply about that. It's about the collapse of America. It's a cloward and piven strategy to collapse the economy, to accelerate and expand 
the welfare state so quickly that the country cannot afford it and it will collapse the country. That's also what Obamacare is about. It's a Cloward and Piven strategy. And they are putting it on with steroids right now. But there's also a question of what do they do after they collapse America? Well, that question was asked at a seminar a couple of weeks ago in London. And David Petraeus was the one who was chosen to give the answer. And he said, well, what comes after America? What comes after the collapse of America, that is? Well, he says that's easy, North America. And he goes on to say that for 20 years now, we've had the North American Free Trade Agreement. And what is happening now that we see in America is that being made an established fact. If they had done it right away when they passed the legislation, people would have realized what's going on. But people don't realize it when it happens to them very slowly. We had Pelosi go last Saturday to the border and make it very clear that she didn't see a couple of different countries. She just saw one community, North and South. And it just happened to have a border running through it. Let's play those quotes, and I want to get Dr. Jerome Corsi to comment on that. Here's Pelosi and Petraeus in the middle. Anyone who comes here sees that this is a community with a border going through it. Boldly proclaimed the coming North American decades as the title now. It's founded on recognition that if you put these three economies together, as has been the case 20 years into the North American Free Trade Act implementation, uh, you find unique uh, countries in terms of demographics. We're all Americans in this hemisphere, North and South America, and this crisis that some call a crisis, we have to view as an opportunity. There we go. This is not a crisis, but it's an opportunity to essentially make NAFTA an established fact. Dr. Jerome Corsi joins us from WND. Dr. Corsi, what do you make of what you just heard? Well, I, I reported on both uh, in WND, and I've been writing about this now going back to about 2005, uh, that there is a move on the left, globalist move, to create a North American Union. And uh, we saw it even under President Bush with the Security and Prosperity Partnership in North America. These themes don't stop. And uh, the key to getting this to succeed, there's two keys. One is it has to be a stealth methodology. In other words, uh, the globalists and the politicians like President Obama advancing this agenda have to be able to deny they're doing it. And mm -hmm. secondly, it has to be done in a gradual enough way so that people don't catch on or so that the next step seems natural or logical. I mean, you know, 20 years ago, if you'd had this influx of kids across the border, and they're not kids coming across the border. These are predominantly teenagers. A great number of them are gang members, uh, drug cartel dealers, uh, mixed in with criminals, terrorists. I mean, it, we're, we're doing no background checks. We're doing no health checks. And it's not a refugee problem. This is a created crisis to flood the border with children, maybe 200,000 of them. Because um, the, the play the globalists, the democratic left are making is that Americans will be too soft hearted. We won't want to, you know, send these kids back home. Yeah. And, and in the process, what we do is we blur the border. 20 years ago, it wouldn't have been tolerated. But today, uh, I'm sorry, it's been just a very, very. I, I think it's a situation where the essentially it looks like they're taking the mask off. And, and that's what I find very troubling. We're seeing that they're accelerating this uh, expansion Acceler of the welfare state at the same time that they're essentially doing a bit of a reveal here. I thought it was pretty astounding to hear the comments of both Pelosi and Petraeus to say that, uh, you know, th this is about the North American Union. We, of course, have had it for 20 years. And uh, now we see that we have some unique demographics is the kind of euphemisms that uh, Petraeus had. I also thought it was interesting that this was done at the Margaret Thatcher Conference yeah. on Liberty. I mean, here's somebody who went to Bilderberg and went, you know, toe to toe with these people and was driven out because she didn't like the European Union. And of course, the European Union is just a different part of the strategy for the North American Union. They want to consolidate everything after they get these regional uh, consolidations. Well, see, George Bush, I mean, here's what I'm talking about. George Bush went down to the border uh, and, you know, to declare 
2005, the Security and Prosperity Partnership, and had these SPP meetings with the head of Mexico and the head of Canada. And so just having the three of them together, they're on the stage, the flags all together, presents to the you know, visual image subliminally that this is North America. Now, of course, we beat that back. I wrote a book called The Late Great USA. Uh, Alex Jones fought it very hard, as did WND, making this agenda obvious to our readers and to people listening to your radio show. That, in fact, this was a conscious effort, just like the European Union had been created. Yes. A socialist, communist methodology. You know, we don't need borders. We really are all one entity and creating these regional groups, North America, you know, then trade groups has always been the methodology. We do a NAFTA and then say, oh, that's just for trade. But ultimately it brings with it a whole political structure to make the trade work and to resolve disputes in trade. And Dr. Corsi, you know, as we're talking about the NAFTA and, and they see this as an accomplished fact, I, I think that explains why when you're talking about George Bush being down there that you covered it with the flags and everything, I think that's why the GOP has not only been silent about this, but essentially complicit in it. You know, they're talking about, well, this is, we've heard this uh, from them as well, saying this is an opportunity for us to do immigration reform. But you're talking about how they bring this in with the trade agreements. We now see that they're moving beyond the step of consolidating regions like North America and Europe. They're now moving to join those areas into a world government with a secretive trade agreement. The Transatlantic Partnership, we also see the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Those are being negotiated in complete secrecy without any input or oversight from any the public and certainly not even from our elected representatives. I've been writing about those for two years, warning people they're coming. Yes. yes. So what you have is um, Congress not giving fast-track authority, which would have you know, been designed to rubber stamp the trans Pacific Partnership, which is the one they wanted, the Obama administration wanted to do first. Mm -hmm. But see, the, the globalists don't mind because they've they've had the first salvo. They put in people's minds that this is coming, even if they don't win this round. When they come back the next time, it's going to seem like, oh well, we've heard this before, and this desensitizing of Americans to the fact that we are North America, that you know there is no border, that. We can let these people transmigrate at will. But, uh, you know, the, the whole idea that Republicans think we get cheap labor with the migrants coming in. And the Democrats think we get a generation of new Hispanic Democratic voters. And the Democrats are going after a permanent presidential majority for the future with African Americans, Hispanics, single women. Mm -hmm. They're playing identity politics. They're playing interest group politics. They're promising everybody um obama phones and food stamps and dream act and you name the promises the communists always the socialists always come on promising utopia what you get at the end is slavery what you get at the end is the loss of rights the loss of nation i mean just take a look at where the country is we're moving into part-time employment as i said going back to the world trade organization the the globalists have put the jobs in china a massive numbers of Americans have been unemployed. Our, our especially, especially among our youth. We're supposed to embrace the uh, youth of other countries with this DREAM Act, and yet it's American youth who have such amazingly high unemployment. And, of course, they're not going to be given college educations unless they become indentured servants. But immigrants from other countries who come here illegally can get in-state tuition at any state that they want to go to, and many times they get a free ride. Going through there, but I, I guess I think the most important thing that we could get across to people, Dr. Corsi, is to get them to not look at this as something that is simply Obama, but this is something, as you point out, it's been going on for decades, going back to the beginning of the North American Union, and it's not a matter of incompetence either, because this is a plan. Many people don't understand that it's about America being taken down. They just look at it and they say, well, we're making a mistake, or it's incompetent, or Obama doesn't know what he's doing, but it's none of those things. This is a deliberate plan, and we can't even get people to understand 
what they see as being completed, and that's the North American Union, while they're working on the very next stage. They're laying the groundwork and establishing the uh, legislative uh, agreements to establish the next stage of consolidation between these different uh, economic areas. Well, and